Beam down smoke. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about the Steam Summer Sale that's coming up. Before we get to that though, let's take a quick look at Swap.gg. So that's going to be Swap.gg. They do actually feature PayPal deposits, which is a rarity in the third-party marketplace area right now. So if you guys want to go ahead and use them, be sure to click on the link in the description below, and it does support the channel directly. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get on to the video at hand with the Steam Summer Sale. According to WhenIsNextSteamSale.com, which tends to be a very reliable source when it comes to the countdowns for the next upcoming sales, there is an unconfirmed date of about 44 days from the time of this video going live, which is going to be when the Summer Sale starts. So we have about 50 days until the Summer Sale starts. That gives everybody a good opportunity to go ahead and get some money put away for the summer sale once it does of course commence and we're going to have to kind of determine how much money you should actually put towards the summer sale and towards what specifically. Okay so before we begin to talk about investments in any capacity there is one important factor that I want to go ahead and bring up just in case you guys are confused. So normally with summer sales what happens is the skins go down a little bit because people quick sell their skins in order to buy some of the games that go on sale. With the last summer sale that we experienced this was kind of a dud because there weren't a lot of good games that were actually going on sale that people actually wanted to quick sell their skins for and so what ended up happening was there wasn't as many drops as there usually is for summer sales before the one that we just had which ended up causing a dip in steam market prices but not as much as most people were anticipating so an interesting new factor with the upcoming summer sale is the fact that there's going to be a lot more people playing csgo than ever before obviously csgo is now the number one game on steam in terms of concurrent players and it has been breaking records all through the past couple of months here so there is going to be an interesting factor in that sense because there will probably be a lot more people trying to buy skins instead of games, which means that in terms of the community market prices for skins, we might not see too much of a dip, and we could potentially even see an increase with people putting money onto Steam in order to buy games, and then using a little bit of that excess money to buy skins. To put it into more simple terms, basically there's going to be a surplus of money once people purchase the games that they want to buy, and that's going to cause people to have extra money which they may or may not put towards skins. Regardless if this actually happens or not, this is still something to consider because of how popular CSGO currently is is, and this is something that's sort of unprecedented, so it will maybe have an interesting effect on the summer sale, we'll kind of have to see. In my personal opinion, I think these people are still going to do the same thing they do during regular summer sales, and they're going to sell off their skins for lower prices in order to buy some of these games. But regardless, at least you guys are now aware of this factor, and if something like this does happen, then you'll know why. Now just like the previous summer sale, another big factor here is how much the games actually go on sale. So for example, if there is a really popular game title that's put out, let's say for example Cyberpunk, even though this won't occur during this summer sale, let's say Cyberpunk is out and let's say Cyberpunk goes on sale. Because it's such a hyped game, there's going to be a larger variety of people and a larger audience of people that are willing to buy the game and for its cheaper price during the summer sale. This means that a lot of people who have CSGO skins are probably going to sell those skins in order to buy Cyberpunk. But as we know, Cyberpunk 2077 doesn't come out till a bit later, so it's definitely not going to be on sale on Steam for this upcoming summer sale. However, the pre-order is available, so that could potentially go on sale, who knows? I would doubt it though. I think one of the only really big games that may go on sale for this upcoming summer sale is going to be Doom Eternal. That's probably one of the most hyped games that I've heard of from the previous few months. That could actually have a pretty big impact on the skin market. But the big thing is, the big question is who knows? We don't really know how much the impact is going to be. We don't know if Doom Eternal is actually going to go on sale. We don't know if Doom Eternal is even a big enough draw for people to quick sell their skins. So the big thing here is there's a lot of unmatched variables that we're not going to be able to see in real time until the summer sale actually starts. So it's not really something we can analyze at the current moment. To give you guys a general idea of what you should be doing for the summer sale in order to prepare, I would put aside a bit of money in order to buy maybe some skins that you've been looking to buy that could go cheaper. I would say the skins that are going to be a little bit more expensive, but not too terribly expensive, such as around the $25 to $60 range, that kind of skins are probably going to be the most affected by this because that's probably going to be how much money people actually want to put into games. Then again, as I said before, of course, there could be an inverse effect where there's so much popularity behind CSGO that people actually spend more money on CSGO 
rather than less, and they don't end up cashing out their items for games, and rather they buy more skins, which is something that could happen just because of how popular the game is right now, but we'll just have to see. Now, one of the main topics here of the summer sale is probably going to be the Shattered Web Collection, which is something that a lot of people have invested into. I think that the people that did not sell as panic sellers may in fact start selling their Shattered Web Operation stuff in order to buy games, which could be a potential thing. We're just going to have to go ahead and watch that just like anything else. So I think that is another thing to put on your watch list is just some sh Shattered Web Operation items that have been popular for investments in the past. So stuff like the Augment Night Lily, the Desert Eagle Emerald German Gunder, and of course the Gold Web Foil. I think all of those have the potential to also decrease from more people selling them for games just because that was something that a lot of people invested into. Like with most years for the summer sale, another thing to put on your watch list is going to be those really common items that you see for play skins. This includes stuff like the AK Redline, the USP Orion. These tend to drop about a dollar or two each time the summer sale comes around, so you can get them at a pretty okay discount and then just wait for those to recover. As the Orion is a skin that I believe is going to do pretty well this year, I think right now during the summer sale would be a good time to buy it if you can get it at a good price. So as I mentioned a couple seconds ago, there is something called the recovery period, and basically this recovery period tracks how long it takes for the items to return to their original prices prior to the summer sale if they decrease in value. So the recovery period is kind of different and it kind of depends on how much popularity the game has. Luckily CSGO has a lot of popularity, so there is a lot of volume with each of the skins being traded all the time, so there is going to be a pretty good recovery period with this summer sale coming around, so I think it is a good time to buy, and the recovery will be pretty fast. I really wouldn't anticipate more than one or two weeks for a recovery period, I think it will be pretty fast just because of how popular CSGO is. So we've talked about quite a lot of random information about the summer sale, so let's try to congeal it here. Basically the entire point of the summer sale is the fact that a lot of people are going to be wanting to buy the games that are going on sale, so one thing that they can do is sell their CSGO skins in order to buy these games, so historically at least, there has been a lot of drops in the CSGO markets in terms of skin prices just because people have quick sold their skins in order to buy games that are on good sales. Another possible factor with this current summer sale that's coming up is going to be the fact that a lot of people may have excess money from money that they put into Steam to buy games, and they might use that money on CSGO skins, which could potentially increase the value of them rather than decrease the value of them. As for the watch list for investments that you should be looking at for the summer sale, that's going to include stuff like really popular play skin items such as the AK-47 Redline and the USP Orion, and it's also going to include stuff like the Shattered Web investment items such as the Gold Web Foils, stuff that people have invested a lot into because those people are probably going to follow the same suit as Panic Sellers and kind of just want money quick so they'll probably sell those off for the summer sale at least. So before we close off this video, I do want to address a lot of the questions that I get a lot when I talk about the summer sale, and one of the main ones here is going to be those really high tier items such as knives and also some really low tier items that a lot of people are pretty interested in buying, such as like cheap and cost effective items such as like Op Hyper Beast for example. So the main thing here is that the cheaper the item is, the more prone it is to decreasing for the summer sale because the cheaper items are going to give people enough money to buy discounted games. Obviously during the summer sale the games are going to be on very high discounts, which means that it doesn't cost very much money in order to buy them, so they don't really have to sell too many skins in order to buy the games. As for more expensive high tier items such as knives, those tend to be less affected because people who own those items aren't really going to sell them for summer sales just because they are too expensive, they don't need that much money. And also another major factor about the expensive items is that people usually buy them to hold on to and to play with, and is not really something that they're going to have a desire to sell for games in general. So as one more quick conclusion, just make sure you are watching those very popular items and also those items from the Shattered Web Collection. Those are going to be great items to buy into for investing purposes, and it's going to be something that will recover pretty quickly, of course, within the next one or two weeks after the summer sale ends. And we also want to make sure that we're watching the fact that there's so many CSGO players, skin prices could actually increase rather than decrease, and I think a decrease in skin prices is probably a lot more unlikely unless the game offers are extremely good. Anyway, that being said, that's going to cut it for this video. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to come check out this video with me today. I also appreciate everybody for the recent support. There has been a lot of activity on my channel, which I am very happy for. So thank you guys for allowing that to happen. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to get the latest and greatest investment tips anywhere else on YouTube. And also be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it or if it helped you get a good grasp of the summer sale itself. Leave a comment about what you think and what you're looking to invest into. And also check out the links in the description below for swap.gg and also all my social medias. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you all next time. Peace.